Welcome back. A new federal grant program is now trying to tackle the dangerous problem of crashes involving animals, which kill around 200 people each year. But as KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt shares with us, the U.S. DOT will put millions of dollars towards wildlife crossing projects in hopes of protecting both the people and the animals. Each year in the U.S., there are more than a million crashes involving wildlife, with deadly consequences for both animals and people. We have an opportunity to do something about it. The Transportation Department just announced it's giving $110 million in grants to 19 wildlife crossing projects across the country. The program is the first of its kind, and Secretary Pete Buttigieg says it will save lives and boost conservation efforts. It's the right thing to do for conservation and for habitats and wildlife, but it's also the right thing to do for uh, drivers and, and and their kids. Experts say as the amount of daily traffic in the U.S. grows at busy spots like these, the danger of animal related crashes is growing too. The need for this funding and the need to be able to do these projects in many states across our country is, is at an all time high. Jeremy Romero with the National Wildlife Federation says some of the money will go towards mapping out areas where these crashes commonly occur and some of it will go towards construction of wildlife overpasses, underpasses or fences. No two projects are essentially the same. He says these projects can be complex and expensive, but he argues so is not addressing the problem. Some figures out there have it over $8 billion, the costs associated with wildlife vehicle collisions. And leaders say this money will be put to good use. Some of these projects have success rates upwards of 90 percent in reducing wildlife vehicle collisions. So that's 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 really amazing. This is just the first round of grants. The program is set to give out more funding over the next few years for other projects. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.